Hello and welcome to Finextra. I'm Emily Haller and I'm here with Alessandro Baroni of Equens and we're talking about instant payments. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for having me here. Instant payments 24-7, real time, is a really hot topic in the market. What are the major challenges that it creates in the financial industry? Well, I would say it's a combination of challenges and opportunities. <clears throat> On one side, uh, it's a major technology and operating model challenge because it breaks the boundaries uh, of uh, the typical batch payments paradigm where you have time to settle, you have time to correct mistakes, you have time for reconciliation. In an instant world, uh, you need to provide a fully scalable technology with no maintenance windows that simply continues uh, uh, on a 24-7 basis, 365 days uh, uh, per year. So for the industry players, uh, and, and, and that applies to the banks as well as to the processor, it implies a major investment in technology. An investment which uh, at the moment, in fact, uh, doesn't have a clear proven business case, but we all believe in the industry that this is something that will happen. And uh, even to defend uh, the large payments volumes that the industry is currently retaining, will have to enter uh, uh, into. On the other hand, uh, the other challenge is that the business models that instant payments are uh, is supporting are even uh, are more, first of all, and are more sophisticated than the one we had, which are well, fully commoditized. Uh, it's a bread and butter process flow of payments that are simply settled. In the instant payments world, we are implementing mobile. Um, we have to be able to connect uh, directly consumers in a peer-to-peer -peer framework. Consumer to merchant payments are involved still on an instant basis and even corporates to, to, to consumer for some specific user cases. So the challenge is a combination of technology uptake as well as uh, innovative and plurality of business cases to be supported at the same time, I would say. Do you think instant payments will replace or operate alongside existing payment environments? Yeah, going back to my previous point, I think that um, we will see an evolution of user cases supported by instant payments. At the beginning, everything will come adjacent to the existing payments rails in the, in the batch world. Likely, peer-to-peer -peer will be the first one or, uh, to become uh, a standard on an instant basis. And then the other user cases will, uh, uh, will follow when uh, in a certain steady state, uh, instant will simply become the, the new normal. Hmm? Now, the moment this will happen will probably be determined on a financial basis and there will be a moment in this respect where uh, uh, an efficient market like the uh, uh, payments industry is will have to uh, acknowledge that uh, the cost for the transactions that are left on the batch rails is so high given that most of them have already moved to instant payments that uh, even those that might not have a specific user case attached to that will also move to instant payments from a pure efficiency uh, uh, pattern. Do you see different needs within Europe? I think that the instant payments discussion uh, is blooming uh, differently uh, uh, in different communities. Huh? There are communities uh, that uh, have started a discussion on instant payments because of a contingent need on urgent payments as a standardized products. Uh, in other cases, I think it's the consumer demand. So it's the society evolution that brings mobile peer-to-peer -to, -peer, uh, to the attention of banks that have to react. So the starting point is actually different. Although, uh, irrespective of the starting point, the instant payments uh, has taken up as a discussion on a structural basis in all these communities. So, what are the implications of interoperability and how can this be made to work? I think that, uh, of course, interoperability um, becomes one of the key matters in uh, implementing instant payments, uh, at least in Europe. Because on one side, we see these communities uh, discussing uh, and elaborating on their own user cases. On the other hand, European regulators trying to, of course, determine common guidelines and harmonize guidelines 
primarily to make sure that uh, the huge investments that have been made by the financial industry, by the banks, by the processors, are not wasted and there's something reusable out of that. So probably the equation will settle with uh, uh, indeed business requirements that are defined specifically for communities, but within a common framework that will have to follow the regulatory guidelines, uh, but also uh, as a consequence of that, uh, uh, a, an efficiency principle that uh, the go live of instant payments in Europe will have to, 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 to ensure. And therefore, format standards like uh, ISO 2022 or part of the same fr SEPA framework uh, that we implemented uh, 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 quite recently, after all, may become some uh, uh, important pillars for uh, the start of instant payments in Europe, indeed. Alessandro, thank you very much. You're welcome. And thank you for watching.